Hey, what you got behind you there? Well, a little bit of rain uh, here. Uh, now we've seen this storm develop and get a little intense uh, with a strong wind gust there over Sawgrass Mills Mall, but it's losing some of that intensity. Still some lightning strikes there out to the east, uh, so this might continue to develop a little farther and farther east, working its way towards the coast. Thing to watch here is this is the area that had all the rain yesterday. Heaviest was right up about here in Margate with close to six inches of rain. It's staying below that and it's weakening, but still something to watch here. It could easily lead to some more minor flooding as it continues to work its way across the area. That's in Broward County, Miami-Dade pretty clear, but uh, this thin green line here, this is outflow from a strong storm earlier, and that may try to trigger just a few more showers and storms. It's over the metro areas right now. looks pretty quiet, but uh, things look pretty clear there. So it's just that uh, one area, one storm that we will continue to watch. Sunny over Biscayne Bay. The temperatures have uh, heated up a good bit today into the lower 90s, 91 in Miami, uh, almost up to 90 in Fort Lauderdale. Key West is into the upper 80s. We'll drop into the upper 70s again tonight. Those storms are out there early this evening. A warm and muggy night tonight is in the forecast. Now we are starting to see a hint of the southeast breeze returning. Storms developing high winds uh, continuing to push the high clouds to the southwest. But at the surface, that east to southeast wind develops. And that means that we might see, start to see these showers and storms work their way through the area uh, tomorrow. This is the activity that we have currently. It'll diminish here early this evening. Tomorrow morning is clear Then we start to get a little sea breeze coming in here. Showers developing along that right about 12, 1 o'clock mid afternoon. They slowly work their way to the interior. Maybe a heavier shower or thunderstorm by 3 o'clock by 5 o'clock. The activity pushing inland. You have the Gulf Coast sea breeze developing here and the intense storms with that east to southeast wind slowly working its way towards the Gulf Coast by 7, 8 o'clock tomorrow evening. Uh, that's what we continue to watch. We're watching this. There's an area of low pressure that to could develop just off the coast and that'll be early next week. So the National Hurricane Center uh, over the next three to five days does have a low development potential as it continues to drift just off the coast. But that's associated with a front coming down. So we're watching that just a few days away. East wind five to 10 knots. There'll be two foot seas tomorrow. Light chop in the bay. Surf temperature is 84 degrees up to 90 again tomorrow. The storms develop. They push inland a little stronger southeast breeze. So the temperature might not be quite as hot tomorrow as it did today up to the uh, low 90s. 91 with a little haze in the sky on Friday. Sun and storms there, but the moisture increases. It really works its way into the area of the weekend. Uh, so the storms increase Saturday and Sunday. Mix of sun and storms on Monday and temperatures are just above 90 with sunshine and a few storms for the middle of next week.